friends Nibs again out in the garage tonight doing a little bit of plinking a little bit of goofing around with my uh, air rifles <clears throat> and I got a special mail call today it's actually Sunday and uh, but I did get a uh, package in from FedEx today and I thought we'd get out here and play around with it a little bit this is something I told you I was going to be getting but uh, this is from this company called ballistics products <clears throat> and uh, on their website it says this ammunition is not intended for use in air rifles so just as a oh by the way uh, they do not recommend using their products in air rifles but um, they did list <clears throat> that they had a shot that was 0.21 in diameter and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and try it I have a couple of rifles out here that it might work in um, I have the Quackenbush number one, which I've been shooting the 20 caliber Sheridan sized pellets, 20 caliber. <clears throat> what are they? Let's see here. These are the uh, H and N uh, field trophies, and also uh, the the new one, the excellent Swedish excellent C1, and that one is uh, also I've been shooting these 20 caliber pellets out of it, but it calls for a 21 size as well. So. Um, I already unboxed it, so no, no uh, unboxing for the mail call, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, <clears throat> I've got my dial calipers here, so let me zero that out. And uh, we'll see what we got for size here on these guys. So this one is right at... Right at 210. Yeah, if I spin it around, it goes so they're not perfectly concentric. So, but right around 210, 2, 209. That one's 209, 209, 212. So a little, little bit of out of round, but uh, not too bad. Uh, a, I've got the. <clears throat> Where are they at? I should have got them out before I started up, I guess. I guess I don't have them out here. I was looking for the Game O uh, 22 caliber round balls I had. They must have put them away. Uh, but anyway, that's not important. So, uh, first of all, I want to try them in each one of the guns just to see if they're going to even pass through. Uh, if one doesn't work or both of them work, we'll run them across the chronograph and see how they do. And if they do all right there, then we'll uh, set up a target and see if uh, how the accuracy goes with them. But uh, so let's go ahead. I'll get a couple of these out here. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll try it with the Quackenbush first. So. This Quackenbush actually shoots the 20 caliber pellets really well, so if it doesn't work in this, then it won't be that big a deal. Uh, these are a lot less expensive than the 20 caliber pellets, so that would be a bonus if it does work. But uh, so you cock that like that, and then you pull the breech back until you open up the loading port there, drop one in, and let's see here. Looks, looks a little snug. Well, it did go through. <laughs> it, uh, it actually bounced off my target plate down, down range. So it's, uh, I think these are a little bit snug for this gun. Let's try it one more time. Nope. No, I don't think they I think they're a little bit a little bit snug. That one's stuck in there now, so <clears throat> not the end of the world. This guy likes those uh This guy likes the uh twenty caliber pellets, so that's not a problem. Come on. There it goes. All right. 
So, Kraken Bush is a big no. Let's move on to the, the new one, the Swedish Excellent. It was the main reason I grabbed these pellets so we would have uh, <coughs> Because the, the breech on this one is actually, pellets are a lot looser, the 20 caliber pellets are a lot looser in this one than the, in the Quackenbush. So I kind of assumed so I kind of assumed this one needed a little bit tighter seal. Did not have the breech pushed all the way shut. It went out. <laughs> all right, so this one is working. So let's go ahead and we will set up our chronograph here. I've already got it turned on. I will start a start a group. Start my screen capture. So now the <clears throat> the pellets were shooting in this at of like a between like 370 and 380. So let's go ahead and And I'm not so much worried about the speed more than the accuracy. Two sixty five, so quite a bit less. Um, you know what? Let's uh Let's do one thing before we get too far into this. So those, the H&N field trophies are 11.42 grains. Let's go ahead and measure, weigh these round balls here. That'll make a big difference if the weight's quite a bit more. Get my tear. Well, there you go. So these are 14.2 grains compared to 11 something. 14.5. So <clears throat> that's going to make a big difference as far as velocity goes as well. They do fit nicely in the breech though. Three oh five. Let's do a couple more here. So this gun does seem to take a couple of shots to get everything kind of moving and loosed up, loosened up inside. Maybe we'll throw out those first one or two. Definitely they definitely got a nice snug fit in that breech.
and 371. So let me go ahead and stop that. And we'll stop our screen recording. So we had, well, if we throw out the 265, so we'll throw out those first two ones because it was just, it was coming up from cold. So this thing likes to be warmed up, likes to be, and it was out in my truck earlier from in pretty cold. So I think now that it's warmed up, it's actually shooting pretty good. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera and I'm going to get my target set up downrange and we'll shoot a couple of uh, shots at the bullseye and we'll see see how it goes so stand by alrighty so now I'm back got a couple of shooting C's uh, set up downrange here and we'll go ahead and see what we can do as far as uh, putting a group together with these things Ugh. That one's hard to go in. Let me, uh... That one was too stiff. That's better. Not too bad. Uh oh, Fred's outside. Not shooting too bad. <laughs> So when we were doing the chrono testing earlier, I could definitely tell it wasn't warm and it wasn't pumping up as firmly as it is now. It's definitely a better group than I shot with the, uh, the pellets in the previous video. So, but uh, there you go. There is the... <clears throat> Ballistics products, point twenty one. These are actually what they call a TT shot. Different sizes have different letter designations, but these ones are actually a point twenty one size round ball. And uh, I'll still sh still shoot the uh, other ones, the other pellets, the uh, field trophies out of it too. But this is definitely a more economical. Uh, solution for this gun for sure and it seems to be at least as accurate as the other ones if not more accurate but uh, this is an eight pound jar and uh, according to their website it's approximately 3,800 pellets uh, in that eight, eight pound jar it was shipping and tax and everything else to get it to my door was $56 so if you did uh, you bought uh, 
Let's see, these H&M pellets are like $23 a, a tin for, uh, what is that? Not even 250 of them. So you would, for $56, you wouldn't even get uh, two tin. You'd get two tins of that. So you have 500 pellets instead of 3,800. <laughs> so you guys do the math on that. But anyway, made this one a little bit longer than I expected to, but uh, it's a lot of fun to get out here and experiment and play with these different uh, old rifles and stuff. So anyway, hope you liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.